What is going on guys? This video today is going to be the long awaited, especially for me to make, updated collection room tour. Now this is also a room that I call my office because I make my YouTube videos in here. I do everything in here besides sleep, honestly. But this is the room where I keep my collection, where I keep my all my displays, everything's basically in here. So it's recently gotten a update, which I've been talking about in recent videos. Um, I made a tour of what the room used to look like back in the beginning of January, so you can go check that out. Check out, excuse me, that old video if you're interested. Um, but yeah, I think it looks 10 times better than it used to. More displays, more setups in here. So I want to take you guys around the room, give you guys a look at my full uh, toy collection, um, pop collection, action figures, displays, everything that's in here. Um, you're going to see me kind of just kind of show you some stuff, but not really talk about it. That's because I'm just going to kind of glance over some stuff that I don't really feel the need to talk about and spend more time, you know, talking about the displays and whatnot. I don't really feel the need to get you guys an in-depth look at my wrestling DVD collection that hasn't been updated in years um, that I honestly just have to have. Um, so you're going to see me kind of with stuff like that, just kind of glance over and show you guys and not really talk about it. Um, I want to say, or want to spend more time, like I said, on some of the displays that are more on this side of the room. Um, but we will get into that. We will get into the entire room, Funko Pops, action figures, a bunch of other stuff pretty much just all mixed in so i've been waiting to do this video for a while i hope anybody who's looking forward to it is looking forward to checking out this whole video and the point is guys let me take you around the room let me show you my toy room let me show you my office let's get into this collection video right now All right, so let me show you guys a couple things that are over here on these white shelves. So first things first is the WrestleMania 3 display with the Hulk Hogan, Andre the Giant, and Mean Gene Okerlund Pops. These are all new, obviously. This is the last video I made picking up all this WrestleMania stuff. So made a little display out of that. That's the actual t-shirt box. It flips into kind of a ring uh you know display even though it's not very even which is annoying but still very cool we got the lunch box there the pins right there so i was able to set that up along with the uh, dvd side and then over here you got some more uh star wars pop setups and some other stuff you got the uh Dubak and sand trooper the sith trooper black series figure you got a stormtrooper plush and also behind that slow return of the jedi like poster card and then you got the yoda dagobah dagobah yoda with the uh hut out of the box i thought that was pretty cool Got some WWE stuff and gaming stuff down here. The uh, WrestleMania event cups and bears from over the years. Over here is my entire Funko Pop Pez collection, which isn't huge. I mostly just get the Star Wars ones and there's a couple other miscellaneous ones back there, but still some pretty cool ones. You got the uh, Mandalorian Legos down here, which I have a couple Legos, mostly, or they're all Star Wars, scattered throughout my room, but I don't have an actual Lego display yet, which, so, which is why they're kind of just sitting everywhere. But eventually, I want to put a Lego display up here. I want to get a shelf and put up there all my Legos on it. And obviously I'll need more Legos to fill it up, but that's the plan eventually since I have that open space. You also got that little 2020 Mickey back there and an open uh, Yoda Pez. Not a Pop Pez, it's from years ago. I don't even know when I got it, but yeah, I found that side that you throw it with the rest of the Funko Pop Pezes. And then some more wrestling DVDs down there. Uh, the box from the Yu-Gi-Oh! T-shirt, uh, Pop Box, Blue Eyes, White Dragon, and also a pb8 uh what is this what the fuck is this called uh speaker good stuff All right, so jumping over here is one of two Funko Pop filled shelves. This is obviously the non-Star Wars one. This is wrestling and everything else. So starting up top, you got some chases. 
um, you know, mostly wrestling, but really I should start back here. There's a bunch of, you know, three packs and two packs back there. Young Bucks, Hot Top exclusive Young Bucks on top. Got the Amazon exclusive Becky Lynch and Gold Rock. I'm not going to go too in-depth with the Funko Pop collection. I'm just going to kind of show you what's on the outside, you know, kind of on display, I guess. Because um, I'm going to do an updated Funko Pop collection video um, in the near future. So you can stay tuned for that. But you see the, you know, stuff that's up front. You got my basketball ones up here as well. The 10-inch Michael Jordan out of the box. Thought he was too cool to keep in. So got him right there. You got all the WWE Pops that I own um, on these three shelves plus up there. Um, so this top row goes three back as you can see that's all WWE and then this row also goes three back really I think three there are like there's the row right here then there's two rows I think because this like as you can see like there's a couple spots missing well no Cena doesn't go back I think I got actually the no he does see so there's like a couple spots missing in there but point is that's mostly filled all WWE um, so that's there and then we move down this is the all Marvel shelf I don't have a lot I don't go too into the Marvel but the ones I have, I bought because I thought they were really, really cool or, you know, chases, exclusives. So they were definitely had to be displayed. So even though I don't go too in-depth with Marvel, you also got, like, my Santa Claus one sent back there. Um, you know, I just had to put them on display because I thought they were really cool. Chases, Disney Park exclusive, 10-inch Thanos, really cool stuff. Moving down here, all my Crash Bandicoot ones. You got the Crash Team Racing. Um, this came out, like, last summer. He was in the box the whole time, but the way he was in the box, just too hard to appreciate him so i took him out i'll have him on display right there got garfield funko shop exclusive garfield nickelodeon ones are in the back but uh like i said i'm not gonna go in depth with that today gonna save that for my funko pop collection video which is coming in the future and then down here on the bottom shelf though um as you can see this is kind of two rows deep with uh one on one being Yu Gi Oh, one being pokemon and then there's just miscellaneous stuff like in the back like here you got nacho libre and wayne's world so yeah, definitely stay tuned for the Funko Pop collection video. That's coming in the future, an updated one. I did one back in like November. So I'm going to be, I think I'm due for an updated one, honestly. I've sold some stuff. I've gotten a lot of new stuff. So that's coming soon. But yeah, that is the first of two pop filled shelves. All right, so moving to this corner of the room, this is where it gets real wrestling heavy. Really, this whole side of the room is wrestling. The other side, Star Wars. Obviously, there's other stuff mixed in because of the pop shelves, but it's mostly all wrestling over here. So we'll start right here. Got the two art prints um, from the artist. I forget his name. He's on Instagram. If I remember, I'll tag him in the description box. But got an ECW roster art print, which is really cool. And then you also have a WCW Cruiserweight exclusives. Nobody else, just all Cruiserweights that were in WCW. Um, roster kind of poster there which is really sick this down here is a Rey Mysterio vs Psychosis ECW poster which is one of my favorite things in the room and then down here is a classic from like 2010 ringside exclusive I believe glow in the dark TNA Jeff Hardy still glows in the dark I had it you know packed away for a while brought it down to display obviously it's a little beat up but works for me tested out the glow in the dark it still works so that's awesome moving up to the top of the display case we'll get to the stuff on the wall afterwards but the the, excuse me, top of the display case, the detolf cabinet. You got the Storm Collectibles, Jushin Thunder Liger. As you see, kept the box to it because it was that sweet. But yeah, one of my favorite figures in my collection. Back there is my very small but growing ECW action figure collection. Really love those ECW figures. I'm trying to go back and get some of them. I got an ECW RVD still on card that I've had for years that I bro uh, broke out from being packed away to display in here. There's also a ladder and a bootleg Rey Mysterio figure just sitting back there. Because you know why not. Gotta have that stuff in your collection, of course. Moving to the Detolf cabinet. You got, I got a, a shelf and a half worth of Rey Mysterio stuff. Obviously, this is all right on this top shelf. Got three basics in the back, three elites in the front. A 2002 or 2003 bobblehead. You got the Roots of Fight signed mask. And then right here, you have the uh, Rey Mysterio original Funko Pop. I don't got the San Diego Comic-Con one. Or the 7-Eleven exclusive one, but I got the common, which is still worth like 120 or it's over 100 or something like that. So pretty cool. As you see, I literally displayed that on top of two pop protectors that I weren't using. Same with the mask. So cool stuff. Moving down to the second shelf in the Detolf cabinet. More Rey Mysterio elites, followed by 
you know, guys he's feuded with or guys who I just felt fit on this shelf. Wednesday Dorado, Samoa Joe, Andrade, Two Edges, Eddie Guerrero, Angle, and Lesnar. Moving down here is semi-legend shelf, pretty much. I guess you could say you got all Hardy Boys up front, um, plus Mick Foley and Batista. You got Batista, Triple H, Chris Jericho, The Rock, Goldberg, two more Triple H's, and Booker T in the back. Really cool shelf right there. All elites, like I said. And then uh, the only the only basics in here, there's a couple of Rey Mysterios. The, the elites are the only thing I um, collect um, for the new WWE stuff. But down here is like a current guy. Somewhat shelf, you got the old Undertaker and old Lashley and old Big Show in the back, but they were really down here because they couldn't fit on the other shelf. Um, so it's a mostly, you know, current guy shelf down here. Adam Cole, Buddy Murphy, uh, Tommaso Ciampa, Ricochet, Ali, all, you know, front in this shelf. You got Gargano, Brian, Reigns, Balor, Owens, Rollins, a bunch of cool guys in there. Even got Neville back there, good old Pac or Pac, whatever we're calling him these days. But yeah, really cool shelf. Moving up top, though, to the stuff on the wall, you have the WCW original San Francisco Toy Makers, Rey Mysterio. Made an unboxing for that a few months back. Um, so I just, uh, that's actually a somewhat recent pickup for the collection, so you can go check that out. You get the 1 of 3000 Toy Fair uh, Classic Superstars Edge, which is one of my favorite figures as well in my collection. You get the WrestleMania 36, uh, or WrestleMania 22, really. Two pack that is uh, fairly new of Mysterio and Randy Orton. Had to have that for the collection. You got the uh, recent pickup that I actually showed in a recent video just a couple videos ago. You can go check that out. The Masters of the Universe Rey Mysterio figure. Want to get another one of those so I can take it out, take all the Masters of the Universe stuff off, and then display it separately because you basically got a 95, you know, around there Rey Mysterio sitting there waiting to be displayed, if you ask me. But Moving on, another art proof from that same guy, Rey Mysterio versus Eddie Guerrero, Halloween Havoc 97, my favorite match of all time. So that was a pretty sick one when I saw it, had to get that to display in here. And then you got three figures that I also unboxed on the channel just recently, which you can go check out. You got the best of ECW, Jack specific, Rey Mysterio, best of WCW, Rey Mysterio with the Halloween Havoc gear. And then you also got the best of WCW, Eddie Guerrero. And then moving back up here, we got the framed, Rey Mysterio poster from uh, 2002, I believe, 2003. Um, then you also got a Hardy Boys poster on there, which isn't framed because I already had tackles in it beforehand, so I didn't bother even framing it. Maybe I will eventually, but I already had the tackles in it, so oh well. I do want to point out, because I know somebody's going to comment, yes, this is the only strip of LED lights in my room right now. I do need to get more of them. This was kind of a test run. I do really like them, so there will be I will be adding more to the uh, room eventually. But yeah, there's uh, the LEDs going around and that is really the wrestling side of the room so with all that being said let's go ahead and let's jump over to the star wars side of the collection All right, so let's go ahead and get into the Star Wars side of the room. So over here, you got some empty boxes from uh, pops I took out to display. You also have all my 10 inch Star Wars pops just sitting over here right now, waiting to add the Baby Yoda. I should have picked it up at uh, GameStop already on pre-order, but of course GameStop is currently closed, so that's not gonna happen. But you also have a R2-D2 from the Rise of Skywalker premiere straight from the movie theater, and also a uh, Rise of Skywalker Star Wars poster in the back. Moving on is the, of course, the pop shelf. So there's the top of the shelf. Like I was saying earlier, I'm going to be doing an in-depth uh, updated Funko Pop collection very soon. So you can stay tuned for that on the channel. So I'm not going to be going too in-depth. This is a Return of the Jedi display. This is one of the things that I was very happy of, you know, really doing something new with my displays instead of just having a shelf at all. I just throw my pops on and really don't display them. They kind of just look more like a store setup. And I still have, you know, just rows like this. And that's basically what the other shelf is. You know, besides, a, you know, a little bit of a different stuff here. But I want to start doing more different displays. So I got all pops that were related to uh, Return of the Jedi, for the most part, in my collection. And uh, took a couple out. Thought I made for a cool display. And I might even swap it with uh, Empire Strikes Back stuff once all those pops start coming out. But for now, really cool part of my collection that I really like. This is all pops. You got my Mandalorian ones and Clone Wars. You got the lights and sounds. Kylo Ren and Darth Vader. Two of my favorite pops. 
Moving on here, you have some more Mandalorians that I didn't uh, adjust for, or I didn't adjust. Well, yeah, I pretty much didn't adjust that shelf and didn't fit them in yet, which is why they're just sitting right here. But if you move them, it's pretty much all Rise of Skywalker on this shelf. All that right there. And then I believe these are mostly, yeah, those are Rise of Skywalker ones back there as well. And then you also have the uh, Star Wars and Future of Boba Fett and then the Darth Vader. I know there's a bunch more of them coming out pretty soon. Um, if I get more of them, if I'll be able to find them, who knows, but at least I got those two. Um, then down here is honestly just kind of like the random exclusive shelf. I have a lot of just not in series, you know, or in series, but just still kind of random Star Wars pops. So you got like the gold ones from the Galactic Convention last year. Uh, all my solo ones, I forgot, that's I think what's mostly in, on this shelf. All my solo ones are back there too, which I have pretty much that whole set. Um, so there's a lot of them, but you got Watto, you got my Disney Parks exclusive Hondo right there. You got Darth Vader, Chrome, my San Diego Comic Con ones from last year. Only a Target, Dryden, Han Solo, like there's all, there's all solo ones right there. You got the New York Comic Con Sand Trooper, so pretty cool stuff. That's the uh, pop display for the uh, Star Wars slide, like I said, coming soon, going in depth. And I do wanna show one more thing, and I'm not even gonna light it up in this video because I'm finally gonna make a video, if I can get it out, talking about it soon. But this is the lightsaber that I built at Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. Should I, you know what, let's talk it. Let me just, let me just. We're gonna get more in depth with this in another video. And it's not even on display right now. But point is, that's coming. Let's go ahead and jump to the other side of the Star Wars wall, though. This lightsaber, however, is sick. All right, so this wall over here is where my Star Wars shelf, my pop shelf was, and this is kind of the background. This this wall was kind of the background of my videos before I changed up my room, but this is a new display that I haven't shown yet. I absolutely love, I mean, obviously this has been done before, but this is the first time I've done these baseball bat displays, and I absolutely love how they came out. I have room for another one up there, which I am going to be doing a whole nother Star Wars uh, baseball bat display soon, and uh, it, it might have something to do with I don't know, maybe, you know, we'll, we'll see when we get there. But point is, let's get in a, a closer look at this wall. So you got on the sides of the baseball bat displays, my very few, but uh, still very cool Black Series Archive, Scout Trooper, and Boba Fett. And then if you jump over here, you also got the Anakin Skywalker and Yoda. And then of course, behind the wall, which I've showed before, my favorite Star Wars movie, Revenge of the Sith, the framed poster, absolutely love it. Hopping into the display case, uh, baseball bat display cases though. On top, you have the all the gold Star Wars pops that came out um, pretty much late last year, um, like September to December, I'd say, or December to January, or September to January probably is when these were all released for the most part. At least that's when I got them. So you got all nine of them in here. I thought these were, I was pretty much trying to put pops in these that I knew would fill the displays and I was like all right there's nine of these gold pops so that'll fill this baseball bat display case for the most part so you got Luke, Leia, Vader, Yoda, Darth Maul, Jango Fett, Chewbacca, Rey, and Kylo Ren and then as you can see I just put their empty boxes on top just to get them off the shelf so that's less cluttered and then just also fill up more room on the wall so that was the first one that I did all all the gold pops not saying I won't change these up eventually. I wasn't even huge on these gold pops, but I still got them all. And I was like, you know what? They'll fill the baseball bat display. So that'll be the first one I do. And then down here is all, as you can see, Jedi. With one of every Jedi that I personally own in my collection. So, and there is stuff that I want to change in here, but I'll talk about that after. So going through, we got Yoda, Mace Windu, Kit Fisto, General Grievous, Darth Maul. You got Ahsoka, Obi-Wan, Anakin. Darth Vader, Luke Skywalker, Kylo Ren, and Rey. A couple of things I want to change in here. Would rather have a more, not updated Yoda, but like this is the, you know, original blue box Yoda. But the thing about some of these old pops is they're really not the best pops. So I'd rather have a different Yoda in here. And then the other thing I want to do is get an updated Luke in here because, and same thing with Vader, like I said with Yoda, but those are at least tolerable for now. I don't really like having this Luke in here at all. I prefer to have a younger Luke. So I had to throw old man Luke in here, which I do have 
that younger Luke, but I'm using him for the Return of the Jedi display. So I eventually want to get um, probably the Luke uh, Jedi gear from Return of the Jedi um, to put in this display. But for now, old man Luke's going to have to do. But yeah, so it did all Jedi in there. Like ones that I personally own in my collection. Um, got one of everybody that I had and filled them up in there. I believe there's, how many we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven pops. And that's pretty, pr pr fitting them pretty comfortably. I mean, they're a little more spread out because of the lightsabers on some of them. So, you know, I had to spread them out a little more. Like, easily right there, they could have got a little closer together had Grievous' lightsaber not been out and, and Darth Maul. So, you could probably fit 11 to 12 comfortably in here and, like, Yoda's ears take up room. But, like, that's what 11 of them look like. That's what 9 of them look like. So, I think 9 to probably, like, 12 is the, is, is the good amount to fit them nice. Still have them look nice. Because if that had any less in there, it'd look kind of bare. But it still looks really good right now. And then this one, you know, it is packed. But still looks really good. And then, of course, down there. Anyway, got a little Rise of Skywalker poster. And then all these Black Series. They're, they're not mine. But point is... They'll be on display eventually. I've talked about them in the past. When they're on display, we will do a whole video about that. But eventually, that'll come. But anyway, this is the whole Star Wars baseball bat displays that I've been very much looking forward to show you guys on the channel. And like I said, another one will be going up there eventually when the world reopens and I can go to Michael's and get another baseball bat display, honestly. But that's what the wall's looking like right now. Alright guys, that is pretty much it. So the majority of the room obviously wrestling on one side with some other stuff mixed in because of the pops. And then it's all Star Wars on the other. And then pretty much miscellaneous on these two white shelves. But mostly like extra wrestling stuff and you know some out of box Star Wars stuff. All my pop heads and stuff like that. But I 10 times more like how my display is now than what it did a few months ago. I really want you guys, if you just watched this video and haven't seen the old one, go check out that video so then you can see the comparison of the two. Because I think the displays in this room are more creative, look better, and it's just more, I don't know, it, I feel like I have a lot of stuff, so I should display it in the best way possible, and I think it definitely looks 10 times better than it used to be, uh, especially like the Star Wars displays and that whole wrestling corner, um, I think it just looks great, and then of course this is more my desk area, so it's a little less cluttered over here, but there still is, you know, there's plenty of room, the walls are covered for the most part, but you know, it's not like you, you can't walk in, so... We still got plenty more room for more toys and more pops. It's only going to keep getting better. But nonetheless, I'm going to try to wrap this video up. Because I don't know if you guys can hear it. But it's pouring outside right now. I don't think you can. But I'm going to try to wrap it up before it gets any louder. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I've wanted to make this for a while. I've been talking about it for a while. Um, and I'm really glad I've just, you know, finally got the time to do it. Obviously, the world's on shutdown right now. So the only, you know, thing there really is to do is make content. So I'm going to keep trying to do more of that. And I wanted to start with this video because I felt like this is something like I said that I've been talking about doing for a while and I feel like this is a really good video to help introduce people to my channel like I know that I've found certain YouTubers that I watch now well I can't talk specifically because you know I looked up on YouTube collection videos Funko Pop collection wrestling action figure collection stuff like that and watching those videos led me to watching those people's you know just normal videos which for me is like you know unboxings or hauls or anything else that I do on the channel so this, that's really why I wanted to do this video because one, I wanted to show off my room and two, I think videos like these are good introduction videos to people who may not have watched me before to come check out my channel. Because um, obviously if you guys are already subscribed and you watch the channel, you know we're constantly doing Funko Pop videos, wrestling action figure videos. Um, there's been some gaming stuff. I want to start doing more of that, but that will come. You guys get the vibe of the channel already, but felt like this was a good video if you haven't seen anything from me before to help introduce you to the channel so if you're a returning subscriber and you checked out this video i really appreciate it definitely leave a like and comment let me know what you think of the room if you have not subscribed to the channel definitely do that as we are on the road to 2000 subscribers in 2020 i really really hope everybody who watched this video enjoyed it i'm sorry to ramble but like i said this is a video that i've wanted to do for a while and i just really wanted you know one to you know display or show off you know my displays to you guys and show off my collection um in a good way um, and also, you know, just really interact because that's the best part of, you know, doing YouTube videos and really just wanted you guys to, you know, check it out. So 
I'm rambling. Like I said, um, I'm going to wrap this up. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, make sure to try the channel if you're not already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.